We present Pulse Rider Treatment of an Anterior Communicating Artery Aneurysm. The patient is a 64-year-old woman. She presented initially to a community hospital with thunderclap headache, but had no subarachnoid hemorrhage on CT or lumbar puncture. She was referred to us for outpatient angiography based on CTA findings of an ACOM aneurysm. Her diagnostic cerebral angiogram is shown in AP and lateral views. 3D angiography demonstrates the cerebral aneurysm well, measuring 5.5 by 3 millimeters with a 3.9 millimeter neck. The aneurysm projects anteriorly. She was recommended for treatment of her aneurysm based on her risk factors, morphological appearance, and recent presentation. She was pre-treated with five days of dual antiplatelet therapy with the plan to use pulse rider assisted coil embolization. Antiplatelet response was checked on the morning of procedure. The access system included an infinity guide catheter, a distal access catheter, and a Prowler Select Plus 021 microcatheter. Based on her measurements, an 8 mm T-shaped pulse rider was chosen. The A2 was accessed with a microwire to allow deployment of the device at the level of the ACOM. To enhance trackability and support for the microcatheter, the distal access catheter was positioned in the cavernous ICA. Following this, the microcatheter was tracked to the A12 junction. The pulse rider device was then delivered via the microcatheter, but this can be challenging in the distal circulation as the microcatheter is seen backing up here without sufficient distal support. The device is then deployed from the distal A1 segment toward the aneurysm, with close attention paid to both the AP and lateral projections to assure accurate positioning. The angiogram shows the anchor in the A1, which provides the wall apposition and stability for the device. The arch is seen here protecting the aneurysm neck from the parent vessels. The device is then traversed with the microwire, and the aneurysm is accessed with the microcatheter. The framing coil has been placed here, and the arch markers can be seen, demonstrating the support for the coils. The aneurysm is then fully packed with coils to satisfaction. Post-coiling angiogram shows complete obliteration of the aneurysm. This is confirmed by 3D angiography. The patient did well postoperatively and is pending a delayed angiogram at six months. Her clinical course has been benign as she has followed in clinic. Pulse Rider has been recently approved for treatment of basilar apex and ICA terminus aneurysms. It has also been described for MCA and ACOM aneurysms, but these are off-label uses. The latter two are much more technically challenging. When attempting these, the distal access catheter provides invaluable support for the microcatheter when tracking up the device. It is important to have a good working projection in both AP and lateral views for all pulse rider cases to confirm the orientation of the device. Thank you.